Well, now that we're talking about good news down the road, let's turn our head to some bad news out west. Herm Edwards is out at ASU. How do you feel about this, Shoop? And do you think Arizona State would be an attractive enough offer to maybe poach some of these upper tier coaches at maybe G5 levels, like maybe a trailer at UTSA? Boy, that's a loaded question. So let's uh, let's divide this into two different aspects here. The first aspect is just let's like Arizona State, like as a program alone. I think the positives are that, I mean, my gosh, you are in Tempe, Arizona. You're in the Phoenix Metroplex, basically. And like it's Arizona State. <laughs> Kids want to go there. Like players would want to go there. It's a school that has a ton of upside, in my opinion. We said this before on our podcast, like Arizona State in the new Pac-12, if the Pac-12 stays together, could be the next best program in the Pac-12. Like they have the upside to be the best program. And yes, that's even me saying that they could be a better program than Oregon. Like I think that's the upside potential that Arizona State has because of location It's just an extremely attractive place to play. You can live in Arizona and Tempe. It's a great place. Players and kids want to go there. They have money. It's a big school with a big enrollment, huge alumni base. Like Arizona State is extremely attractive from that perspective. Now I have a and I have another thing, Shu. Let me let me ask you this, since we're kind of on this topic. Auburn's got a good chance. They're probably looking for a chance to get rid of Harson after how the season's gone. And we kind of predicted this early season as well in win totals, and we were kind of banking on it. With Harson, presumably he's not fired, but let's say he does get fired as we expect he may be this year. Would you consider Auburn or ASU a more attractive coaching destination for, you know, a head coach to go? So I have my answer, but I want to hear your thoughts before I give my take. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's that's part of the thing I was about to bring up here. So I just mentioned all the good things about Arizona State. So now here's the bad things. They're still stuck in the Pac-12. Like the Pac-12, along with the Big 12 and the ACC, are about to get run out of the building in terms of revenue by the Big 10 and the SEC. So doesn't that look like the Big 10 is eyeing Arizona State, unfortunately. They're eyeing Washington and maybe Stanford, you know, other schools. So I don't think Arizona State's outlook, even if they, let's say they go to the Big 12 and the Big 12 ends up expanding, you know, that's also still a possibility that we can entertain. Regardless, of, regardless, most realistically, Arizona State's going to get left out of the Big 2, the Power 2. That's a huge disadvantage. The other thing, I mean, this is the massive elephant in the room. Arizona State is about to get sanctioned by the NCAA, maybe who knows? Honestly, who knows when the NCAA is going to do something? Because the NCAA is just uh, just incompetent. So, you who knows when the NCAA is finally going to do something about that? If they're whenever going to it's sanction convenient them. for them, yeah, whenever it's convenient for the NCAA, whenever they decide to, you know, look at those papers on their desk. Who knows? It could be three years from now. It could be tomorrow. But regardless, it doesn't look like college football is breaking away from the NCAA anytime soon, unfortunately. So they're still going to linger around and they're still going to use whatever power they have left to try to put the hammer down on these middle tier programs like this because they're not the blue bloods. So Arizona State for the COVID stuff with Herm and all that, you know, mostly it looks like Herm will probably be punished more than anything. So I doubt Herm will be ever will be able to coach college football in the near future. Um, But I'm sure Arizona State will still get punished to some extent. So that's also a thing that's lingering over the new coach's head. But with that being said, it hasn't really seemed like it stopped, you know, certain coaches from going places like Heupel still took the Tennessee job and Tennessee got a slap on the wrist. So you never know. Like I said, it's pretty much unpredictable what the NCAA is going to do. So, you know, how big is that elephant? Is it a small elephant or is it a big elephant? It totally depends on what the corrupt NCAA will do. But other than that, as far as your Auburn question, it's still the answer is still Auburn, man. It's Auburn still in the SEC. Like at the end of the day, you're just going to make much more money there. It's just a more high profile job. You know, even though Auburn is an extremely difficult job, it's probably the toughest job in the entire country, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh I just think the fact that you're in the SEC is is a better option. And as a head coach, it kind of just depends on what you value, right? If you want to go get a fat paycheck with a good buyout, Auburn's definitely the place to go because the thing is, Auburn's not going to accept winning six, seven games, making a bowl game. Auburn wants nine, 10, compete for the SEC. That's what Auburn expects. That's what Auburn wants. 
And it's hard. Like you said, you're competing with Alabama for recruiting in the same state. Oh, man. And you got you to beat Nick Saban. And you got to play him every year. And you can't escape that, or at least until Nick Saban retires. And regardless, Alabama's got going to have the money to probably bring in the next potential like top five coach. I mean, Nick Saban's number one, don't get me wrong, but another top five coach. So if you're going to go to Auburn, you're going there for the paycheck and you're probably going to get fired. I think that, I mean, that's not going to be forever. Auburn will eventually get someone, but there's a decent chance you're probably going to get fired within two, three, four years if you go to Auburn. If you're someone who values maybe long-term success and longevity and you want to use a position as a springboard to get a better job, then Arizona State would be much more um, of a great destination for you because one, there's definitely, Arizona State has been a perennial underachiever in, like in recent memory. They have their years from time to time, but for the most part, they don't perform very well. And so that fan base would probably be just thankful to go to a bowl game in the first few years. And so you have more time to develop. And this is another thing why I would say Arizona State and Nebraska are very attractive jobs, although Nebraska is in the Big Ten. So that's way more lucrative. So Nebraska is probably the most attractive job in all of college football right now because you have a lot of patience from your fan base because, I mean, you haven't had much success lately. You've got good money coming in in the terms of Nebraska. And that's job security, man. So why would you not want to do that? And in terms of Arizona State, it's a good stepping stone school. So if you want to go to Arizona State, and you want to maybe wait if you want to really build that program do well and then maybe wait for one of these other programs to open up maybe who knows maybe in six years nick saban steps down if you're doing well enough at arizona state they want to take you who knows but it just depends on what you want what you value as a head coach and so there's definitely pros and cons to going to both sides of the spectrum but i think we can both agree nebraska is far and away the best job available right now for a prospective head coach yeah i i guess i agree with that um i still think the Auburn job just at face value is still better uh, just because I think I just think you have to take into account that it's in the SEC. You're going to get the spotlight, even if you're in a pressure cooker and you'll probably get fired after three years <laughs> if you go six and six. But uh, I think I think of like jobs as like these job openings. I think of them, which one is better in terms of like the upside, like which job if you perform well is the better job. I think of all those, if you perform well at Auburn, like you're going to be elite of the elite. You're going to be competing for national championships. If you perform mm -hmm. well at Nebraska, unfortunately these days, I feel like your ceiling is kind of capped. Maybe, you know, not necessarily as a national championship contender, but as a very good 10 and two team every year, same thing with well, Arizona state. When that money comes in, if they start doing well, Nebraska has a lot of money. They might be able to do some things with NIL, especially if they have a good coach. I wouldn't count them out, man. I really wouldn't. If I'm a head coach, honestly, I would consider Nebraska a better option because if you go to Auburn and you get fired after two, three years, it doesn't work out, three, four years, whatever the case may be, you're going backwards. The next stop is going to be in the G5 or maybe the coordinator in like a lower tier, not inside the top two, the Big Ten or the SEC. But if you're at Nebraska, you have nothing but time to build up. Nebraska is going to give you a few years unless you're just absolutely losing every single game. And so I think that's something to be said. And then you'll also make good money going there as well, because Nebraska has money. The whole state supports them. There isn't a Nebraska state that's good at football. There isn't uh, another competitor in that state. So one thing about Nebraska, man, really loyal fans, they sell out every game despite how bad they are. And that's one thing I really like about the Huskers. No, oh, that's very true. Very good points. I think bottom line is Arizona State and Nebraska are probably better jobs than most people, the average person that follows the sport would think. Arizona State's oh, sure. got a lot of upside. Like people don't think of Arizona State as a sleeping giant, but they could be a sleeping giant in the rest of what's left over of the power two in the in the future, in my opinion.